Hi, my name is Jun Kong. I'm a musician producer. Um, well, I'm, I'm kind of known here in Southeast Asia for uh, being a drummer for a lot of um, the stars, such as Wong Fei, Fei Wong, uh, Sandy Lam, Eason Chan. Um, but at the same time, I'm also um, I'm also a, a recording artist as well. Um, I'm, I'm independent. My first record was in 1999. I was signed to Universal. And uh, here I am 13 years later, completely independent. Uh, can I swear? <laughs> I mean, it's all bullshit. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, that means I get to do whatever kind of music I want to do. And, uh, and it's, been, it's been working out fine, you know, playing with these major, major stars, going on world tour with them for the last four years. Uh, I could save up to do my own music. And somehow, uh, you know, humbly getting, getting um, recognition by, by a lot of the, um, uh, I, I guess, I guess by people. So I'm really, really happy to be here at the Clock and Flap Festival doing my own, my own, um, my own set. It's my first year, yes it is. Um, I, I've never been in town on weekends. And uh, it just so happened that this, the, 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 the later part of 2012, my, my touring schedules are kind of spread out a little bit. So we actually, and I was really nicely invited to, to, to come do the show. And I'm like, yes, I would, I would love to do it. Just be a part of, uh, it's amazing, uh, it's, it's an amazing energy. And it's, uh, it's a mixed culture of uh, music and, and people. It doesn't really seem like it's in Hong Kong. Behind this backdrop, it's actually where are we at. This is the, uh, the Hong Kong side of, you know, we're actually across the harbor. So imagine you're on a reclaimed land right next to really, really multi-million dollar apartments. And you have a clock and flap stage, not only one, not only two, but you have eight stages over there, and then you have the harbor view over here. So, it's really amazing sight. You know, the, the weather's perfect. It's not raining. It's not too hot either. You can't go wrong like this. Yeah. Let's talk about the lineup. Like, it's, it's, it's a world class lineup for a festival. Yeah, you got people like you know, OJ just arrived. You got Claxons later on turning up. You got the Rubens from Australia. So, is there any particular band that you're actually wanting to see uh, um, today or maybe yesterday that you saw? I'm, to be quite honest, um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of the local Hong Kong act. So uh, I, yeah, I actually, um, I mean, major acts, it's, it's amazing. But actually to be on the same stage as, um, as, uh, as, as some major acts, I think it's, it's something really, really great and something we should be proud of as citizens of Hong Kong. You know, like um, I'm, I'm a big fan of Not Nexus and Cha Chuck Mo, and they all played yesterday, I think. And we're all friends, you know, like the, the industry, it's really funny, I think the last couple of years, I mean, everybody knows everybody, everybody plays with everybody. So my drummer tonight um, plays for Khalil Fong, uh, who, is, who is a major R&B artist in China. And my guitar player plays with, you know, many different artists, you know, local artists. So it's, it's a nice mixed breed. So, you know, I would have loved to watch Primer Scream, but I was, I was a good boy at home because my call time was 11 in the morning. And uh, you know you don't want to go out and party. Probably tonight I'll I'll, I'll party. I'll party a lot harder. Tell us what, what, what should the crowd expect from your set today? Well, I mean the crowd is predominantly Western, so um, thank God my album is uh, <laughs> my album that I released this year is Western. I actually uh, haven't released a Canto album in a long time, and and uh, it's it's a great thing that I released. You know, uh, my playback is a bitch album, uh, totally independent release. Uh, it's got really a lot of major. Airplay and it's got nominated for for quite a lot of awards in Hong Kong. Even though a lot of those awards, you know, are they real or are they not real? I don't I don't know. But you know, it's just be it's, it's just honored just just being nominated to some of the greats in Hong Kong, quote unquote. But uh, um, I mean, my band is uh, I've been playing with my band for off and on 13 years, and and uh, you know, for us, it's just it's just a nice gathering just to be able to be in the same room playing music. So we're just gonna do our thing. Really, I I, I don't want to give. The audience too much of an expectation nor do I want to scare myself because festivals are uh, it's, it's, it's tricky you know it you only have half an hour to to kill or be killed you know uh, it's not like you know when you do a two-hour or two and a half hour show you pretty much have a lot of time to orchestrate your songs and you know and all that kind of stuff you know so it's is very very um, it's very tricky but you know uh, the Hong Kong audience in my eyes, they're they're all just very very nice and polite, and they're really hungry for, you know, for entertainment. And you add, and then you add alcohol in the mix. You have a party right there. It's a full on, 
full on Mexican party. You know? <laughs> I'm part Mexican, so I can do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, it's 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 such a great honor doing this, and I hope Clock and Flap, Clock and Flap can continue doing this. Um, I heard that um, they 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 weren't they didn't do too well last year, but they're still going on. And and I met one of the founders, Justin. I uh, had a nice chat with him, and um, I, I just told him I really appreciate a person like like yourself who you you don't have to do this, you know, but you're doing it. And I was reading I was reading on uh, on on uh, on the internet yesterday that they actually had special special cleaning up utility people to come up and pick up the garbage which are all recyclable and and that's that's passion right there you know because I'm a, I'm a big fan of trying to conserve you know our environment you know uh, and and just 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 do the right thing you know there's a garbage can right there and just throw it don't don't be like throwing it right in front of me I, I would like you know what I'm saying I would really be very agitated you know not that I'm perfect but I'm, I'm trying to you know as a as a as a person on stage with a microphone you know I, I try to spread out uh, uh, you know, a, 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 a personal message to everybody, you know, so, and hopefully it'll, uh, it'll take on its own life. It's just like music. People let me listen to, to some, to Knots and X's or, or King Light G and I'm, I'm telling everybody that I like them. So you kind of, you kind of hope that it would carry on. One final question. Yep. Is there any plans to tour in Australia? Any Australian tour? Actually, I have been touring in Australia, but oh, not yeah. under my own name. Under, just not under June Kong, the mu musician. But uh, if you, if you turn on any, any of the local DVDs, or if you, if you, any artist from Hong Kong that's that's touring around the world, chances are it, it could be me. Um, but chances are because, I mean, Hong Kong has such a small scene, so all of us that are really working are pretty pretty much working our asses off. So, uh, but next year we'll be going to Australia, I think. But I'm actually touring for Sandy Lamb next year, so so it's just an ongoing world tour for about four hour, four years already. So I'm really I'm really got. 